Hello my friends, welcome back to the studio. David Kessler here. Today I want to talk about brushes. I have some specific brushes that I use. They may or may not be right for you, but I want to tell you because I get so many questions about what kind of brush you use, what kind of brush you use. Well, it really doesn't matter what kind of brush I use. It only matters what you use and what you do with it. Keep that in mind, right? A brush is not going to make a painting. A brush is simply a tool to help get the paint from the palette to the canvas. That's all it is, simply a tool. So what I use might not work for you, and what you use might not work for me. Brushes, for me, are a very personal choice, um, and they come about, your choices come about through much experimentation and a long time use to see what works best for you, okay? But, since so many people ask, that's what we're gonna talk about today. Now, I, there, there are several different kinds of brushes, number one, there's natural bristle brushes, there's nylon brushes, and then there's kind of a hybrid br uh, type brush, which combines uh, synthetic or nylon brushes with uh, the effects and the, the qualities of a natural bristle brush. Typically, natural bristle brush is going to be less expensive uh, for acrylic painting brushes. Now, if you're doing watercolor or oil painting, this might not hold true. A nylon brush is going to be a little bit more expensive. Uh, I use a lot of brushes when I paint. Um, I prefer a natural bristle brush like this one uh, because it, it's a little bit rougher edge. For me, it's a little bit better to blend with that rougher edge. Uh, I prefer that. A lot of people will prefer a nylon brush which has a harder edge which will make a harder edge on your paper or your canvas, whatever it is that you paint on. Uh, it's completely personal preference. Completely personal preference. I use a lot of brushes when I do a painting. I use about one brush per color, plus or minus. You know, so I may use 25 to 30 to 35 brushes per painting if it's a bigger painting, right? So, uh, you know, these brushes, a natural bristle brush is going to run about $4 or so. You know, and this synthetic brush is going to be about 12 to 14 dollars so it's a lot less expensive for me to use an, a natural bristle brush than it is a nylon brush for the work that i do All right there's several several kinds of brush that i use br uh, brands this is an escoda brush uh has a longer handle on it right natural bristle i think i buy these at uh, uh cheap joe's maybe uh it's a very good brush uh, some of these I've had for, you know, 12, 15 years, right? This is a, a gesso brush. This is a two inch. I use a two inch, two and a half, and a three inch brush. Okay, so those three sizes. This is a two inch brush. It's a, called a gesso brush made by Dick Blick. Right? It has a natural colored handle. I mean, it did have a natural colored handle, right? There again, very inexpensive, you know, four or five dollars. Uh, this is a two inch brush. Right, natural bristle. It's a, I think it's called a gesso brush. Uh, I get that from Dick Blick. All right. This is a Raphael brand brush. Um, I think this one is called a Sienna brush. I get these from Jerry's Artorama.com. Right there again, it's a, this and this is a size 50, which is about equal to a two-inch brush. All right, this is a two and a half inch brush. Again, natural bristle. This is uh, uh, made by Creative Mark, which is one of Jerry Artorama, Jerry's Artorama house brands. And this is called a primer brush, right? It has a blue handle on it. Natural bristle, primer brush from Creative Mark, which is sold exclusively through jerrysartorama.com. Okay. There again, this is a three inch brush, natural bristle. Again, this is a Creative Mark brush, primer brush, uh, sold uh, ex exclusively through jerrysartorama.com, right? Uh, that's what I use. Uh, I use mostly natural bristle. I use the nylon brush, um, mainly to cut in harder edges around my centers of interest or something like that. I don't use those on a regular basis. Here's another thing to know about brushes. The nylon brush, while it is more expensive, it's a lot easier to clean. 
right? You just run it under some water. Uh, the stuff just falls right off the nylon bristles. The acrylic paint does. Easy, easy cleanup. The natural bristle brush is not so much, right? The, the paint tends to stick to the natural bristles. Uh, so I use, I have to get a wire brush, you know, to brush the paint solids out of the brushes. Takes more cleanup time, without question, more cleanup time. There again, it's personal preference. What I would recommend you do is to buy a lot of different brushes. This is what I did. I didn't just wake up one day and said, hey, you know, I think I'm gonna use exclusively natural bristle brushes. I mean, this is something that evolved over years and years and years of use and experimenting with different brands in the process in my studio. So it wasn't an overnight decision, right? And it shouldn't be for you. Just buy a bunch of different kinds and see what works best for you. Now, they, these are, are pretty stiff brushes, you know, so they'll put really use them to push the paint around. If you use only fluid paint, these might not be something that you would use. I know people that use fluid type paint, acrylic paint, and they want much softer brushes to use, which I would never even think about using a softer brush because some of the paint that I use is very thick right and very viscous and you have to have a stiff brush to push that around on the surface. So there again, it depends on what kind of paint you use, what kind of bristles that you prefer in your brushes and what's gonna work best for you. These are recommendations that I make based on my years of working. These work for me. They may not work for you brushes, unlike paint really, or more a personal choice. So this is just to let you know what it is that I use. If you want to experiment with some of these brushes, please feel free to do that. If you want to really learn how to use whatever kind of brushes you're using, please join me with a workshop. In a workshop, I'll teach all over the country. Hopefully I'll be near your city or state or region and you can join me there. And you can find a list of those workshops on my website, davidmkessler.com. If you like these videos, please just subscribe to the channel so that you can get these uh, notifications by email every week when they come out. And I hope this video was helpful for you, and I'll see you either at a workshop or in the next video. Thanks.